Hey YouTube, this is Adam again, back for another quick video. And I wanted to discuss the different types of motherboards. Um, usually you see videos on YouTube, they tell you how to break computers down and how to sell them, but they really don't go into much detail about the different types. And um, some of you guys will take all the parts off these motherboards and process, process them for gold. Um, that's fine if you have the time to do that. I don't have the time to do it or I don't take the time to do it because I'm not into gold recovery so much. What I do with my boards is I save them up and sell them to either board sort or cashforcomputerscrap.com. Um, anyway, um, but when you go on those sites, they have different classifications for your for your motherboards. So I just wanted to take a second to show you a couple different types and a couple different uh, categories. So if you're new to this, uh, hopefully you can take this information and it'll help you out. Uh, this is a small socket motherboard. It gets its name socket for where the CPU is um, inserted onto the motherboard. Um, as you can see, the socket size is about an inch and a half. Um, next up is a large socket motherboard. Uh, again, it's where the CPU goes into the motherboard. And this is almost two inches in width. Uh, you'll be able to tell the difference when you pull the CPUs off. The larger sockets are bigger, obviously, and than the smaller sockets. But uh, I'll hold these up kind of side by side so you can kind of get an idea of the difference in size. Um, next up, we've got metal socket motherboards, and that's pretty obvious that uh, it's got a big metal clasp that holds the CPU down. Pop this little thing off. The metal thing pops up and you pull your CPU out. Um, it is about an inch and a half. These go, these go as small socket motherboards that they don't specify specifically metal socket. Um, metal socket and here's a just another version um, here's another version of a large socket motherboard um, finally we've got laptop motherboards and every laptop motherboard goes for the same price uh, some some uh, places places uh, pay higher for your laptop motherboards. That's because everything's kind of concentrated, all real close together. Um, they weigh less than these other motherboards, but all the goodies are all in one space. See all the empty spaces on these things. That's why they pay more for the laptop motherboards per pound. Um, if you notice. Some of these are green, and some of them are blue, and red, and I guess it's gold colored. But uh, anyway, the green motherboards typically go for more money than the colored motherboards. If, if it's any color other than green, they're sometimes referred to as Chinese motherboards, uh, probably because they're made in China. Surprise, surprise. But anyway, uh, large socket motherboards are more valuable than small socket, socket motherboards, which are more valuable than metal socket motherboards. But the most valuable, again, is your laptop motherboards. Anyway, make sure when you're breaking these things down, you sort them out. Um, 
cashforcomputerscrap.com sorts your stuff for you. So you can kind of put them all in. I still like to send basically most of one kind. That way something doesn't get overlooked. Board sort, you have to sort out your different types. They won't sort them for you. So what I typically do is I'll take a stack of small socket motherboards, I'll stack them up and I'll put a piece of blue painter's tape or something that around, or duct tape and wrap it around it and then label it small socket motherboards. Same way with large socket and metal socket, unless I'm only sending one, only sending one type of motherboards. Anyway, I hope this helps you new guys out. <clears throat> uh, take the time to, oh, one more thing. Always before you send your motherboards in, you got to remove the batteries. Uh, the refiners, I guess, don't like the batteries when they chop them up, getting mixed in with all the uh, gold and precious metals that are in these motherboards. So you got to pull the batteries off, pull off any large uh, aluminum heat sinks, but you, all this stuff on the side, all those components, they have gold pins in them. Uh, you can leave the capacitors and stuff on them. Um, yeah, just the big heat sinks and the batteries is what you need to pull off. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, please like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Happy scrapping.